What's up, TechHeart? Are you guys ready to continue on our Arch Linux installation series? Well, I am. We just came off a couple Hyperlind videos, and we're going to get back to the normal basic stuff. Today, we're going to install GNOME. GNOME is one of the most popular desktop environments, and it should be a pretty easy install. So, check this video out if you've already done one of the vanilla Linux installs that are inside of the 2025 Arch Linux playlist right here on TechHeart. If you haven't subbed or liked these videos, please do both. It really helps the channel. And we now have memberships. So, if you find actual value out of these videos, there's more options. Join our TechHeart memberships if you like. Let's get into it. Let's go install GNOME, 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 GNOME. Let's install GNOME on Arch Linux, baby. Here we go. So we are logged into our vanilla Arch Linux installation. If you found this video without doing that first, go to the 2025 Arch Linux installation playlist and you'll find out how to build this vanilla Arch Linux installation. I'm going to switch over to the Arch Wiki. How do we say GNOME? Maybe we can grab this right here and right click it. Let's go down here to speech and I think I can say, say? Nom. Nom. What? One more time. Nom. I'm going to disagree. It's GNOME or GNOME. Pick your poison, baby. Okay, so this one's going to be a pretty easy install. We can read the Arch Wiki and we'll see that we have to install the GNOME package and possibly GNOME Extra. I also want to make sure we add GNOME tweaks. So yeah, we'll be installing those three. Let's get logged in. So I'll just get logged in. And let's make light work of this. You'll remember that we use the Peru AUR helper. So we'll run a Peru and we'll let it finish. That'll completely update the system. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording an error, please check the number and try your call again. And now with that complete, we can run a Peru again and we'll see that we have no upgrades to do. From here, we can do a Peru-S on the GNOME package group. That'll be a big one. I'm gonna select all the defaults, but if you want to remove some of these things, you can. But I'm gonna install everything and all the defaults. One and a half gig. And when that's done, we're gonna install GNOME extras and GNOME tweaks. So we'll do a Peru-S on GNOME dash extra and gnome dash tweaks. This will add gnome extras and an application called gnome tweaks that's pretty useful. So I'm going to install everything. Another gig! Now, everything's installed, but if we do a sudo systemctl status on gdm.service. GDM is our login manager. It's not called a login manager. Display manager, I think. But anyway, you can see it's installed, but not active and not enabled. So let's run a sudo systemctl enable gdm.service. Then we can do a sudo systemctl start gdm.service and this should boot us right into the GDM Display Manager. Now, I'm on a capture card, so this may give me some errors, but for you, it should come right up. Okay, here's my first edit. GDM does work, but I just can't figure out that Wayland slash Xorg screen mirroring. So it does work, there's GDM, and now I'll go into the system. Here we are in GNOME. I'm gonna open up a terminal because we're gonna install some more software. However, I will show everybody that if you push the uh, Windows key, you could also add software using the graphical application. But for us, since we're crazy hackers, we'll go right over here. And what we'll do now is we'll talk about GNOME shell extensions. Shell extensions lets us add stuff to our GNOME graphical user interface, and that's pretty cool. Let's run a Peru-S on GNOME-shell-extensions and chrome-gnome shell. And that allows you to install through your web browser. Okay, 
Now if we search for extensions, we'll see this app. We can manage our GNOME extensions. Now we're going to need a browser because currently it just comes with this web browser here. And this one's pretty basic. So we'll go over to DuckDuckGo and we're going to search for the Brave browser. And it'll give us a command we can enter into our terminal. So I'll grab that and I'll paste it. And Bob's your uncle. Let's install Brave. The Brave browser is really, really good. I like it over Firefox and it comes with security in mind, but you should still go through the settings and turn off some of its reporting to the home base. Now that Brave is installed, we can fire it up. I'll set it as my default. Dark mode. No and no. And then I'll search for GNOME extensions. And here we have a web page and we can install any of these GNOME extensions that will make your GNOME unique to you. Let's add user themes. That's a popular one. You can download different themes and have them installed very easily. So it comes up like that and we can install it. And now if we open that extensions app, we'll see our user themes is installed. Turn it off or turn it on. And that's how you install different GNOME extensions. You can do some Google browsing and see there's really nifty GNOME extensions. We could see one of those different themes by installing with Peru-S, one called Orcus-Theme. Let's also install some icons just so I can show you that. We'll do papyrus-icon-theme. And finally, to show cursors, I'll do Peru-S on Capitaine-cursors. And then I'll show you all these by opening up the settings. And we'll go down to Appearance. Oh, first things first, let's go dark. We can go over here, I think, and search for themes. Oh, and I was wrong. For the themes, we'll open up that extensions. And through here, we can edit the user themes, settings. And there, we have that Orcus we just installed. So we can check it out. We'll go to Orcus Dark. And look at that. That's kind of nice, actually. So you can change your themes. You saw that taskbar up here change. Notice if I go back to default. I'm going to leave it with Orcus. What do y'all think? So anyway, that's GNOME extensions. I'm just playing around with one to show you guys. Let's check out another app that we installed. Let's check out GNOME Tweaks. And from here, we can also see some of that other stuff, like in appearance, see our cursors. So those cursors we installed will be right here. We could click it. Didn't notice a big change. The icons we installed, there's that papyrus. We select those. We're here on the Orcus theme. And notice our icons changed. Bob's your uncle. So inside of this tweaks, you have a lot more access to different settings, scaling factors, etc., etc. You can make your text bigger if you like. See that? So tweaks is very useful. Man, our gnome is coming right along. What do you guys think about the GNOME window manager? It's not my cup of tea, but you can see very easily, you can start to make it your own. Let me know if this was helpful. But for now, tech heart out.